Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Mike. Today we are going to be going over on how to improve your American Truck Simulator, whether or not you run mods or you run with no mods. This will completely change the way you play the game. Alright guys, so welcome to today's video. Again, if you guys are new here, make sure to drop a sub. It definitely goes a very long way. And also, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. We are also on the road to 10,000 subscribers here on the channel. Cannot thank you guys enough. So it's a very simple click to become part of the Hammerhead community. We'd love to have you there. Today we're going to be going over something that is magical here in the community. A lot of you guys ask me about it there on the live streams and such. And it is my frame rate. Now, I run an extensive amount of mods here on this game, whether they be graphical mods, graphic card enhancements. Very, very much do I add a lot of pressure to this game. I really push it to the limits, but there is one tiny little thing that you guys can do, whether or not you run mods or no mods, this is completely free and requires no mods to do so. But this will 100% improve your game, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, first things first, we're going to go out of the game. You want to close the game completely, and there's going to be two settings we're going to go change. So, completely close your game, and let's go to the desktop. All right, guys. So, here we're going to get down to our desktop, and what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, hit Show More Options, and click NVIDIA Control Panel. So I am on Windows 11, so that is the process for me. If you guys are on Windows 10, I believe you just right click, it'll be right here. But what you're gonna wanna do is open up the Control Panel, and bam, there it is. And you're gonna wanna go to Manage 3D Settings, and then you're gonna wanna hit Program Settings, and you're gonna wanna select American Truck Simulator. Now there are two things we're gonna change in here. Anything you else, anything else you guys see in here, do not worry about that is something completely different that is for things that i have going on which are a lot different than what you guys have going on because i have special tweaks to my graphics cards and things like that but what i'm showing you is going to be fine for what you have and what you need so just very well please pay attention to just what i am changing i promise you you will have a much better running game so what we're going to do we're going to scroll on down and you're going to see this beautiful thing that says maximum frame rate you're going to click you're going to highlight and you are going to change this rate now you see how we can move it all around we can just literally just go in here type in 60 and hit okay that is all you need to do scroll further uh down and you're going to see power management mode you can have it set right here to perform maximum performance now after that is done, you will see probably something down on this way here that says apply or okay. Make sure you apply those settings and then close out of the control panel. Now, what you can do as well is you can go over to Steam and by going to Steam, you will see uh, my beautiful Steam right there. Bam, there it is. You can go to Steam and you can go to your settings and in your settings, you can actually go into the overlay to have your frame rate on for the game so you guys can see that. But without further ado, let's jump right back into American Truck Simulator because there is one more thing that you need to change within the game. All right, so here we are back in American Truck Simulator. And before I even launch the game, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to options right here and it's gonna open up our main settings. We're gonna go to graphics as it is selected and we are gonna hit the refresh rate right here at 59 Hertz. Now, whether or not your PC can go higher, I, it does not matter. Uh, 99, 119, maybe you got a 120 hertz, but you got a 160, I personally have 165, does not matter. You want to put this at 59 HZ. Those are hertz. That is the refresh rate of the monitor. And then you're going to want to open up your American Truck Simulator, and it'll sign you on in. And uh, see, as you see, I run JBX graphics there. So again, my settings in the NVIDIA control panel slightly different. I also use the NVIDIA Profile Inspector as well as some other graphical mods, but the video will be for a later day. No idea why. 
I don't know. I have no idea. Sometimes I really wonder. But anyway, here we are. And now if you look at the top left corner of my screen, you'll see 60 FPS. And you should have that there as well if you are showing your frames. Now, what did this, what did this do, right? So very simply put, SCS has this game and it's their game engine Prism and it's very, very old. Amazing how the game has lasted this long with it. There are a lot of people that love and hate it. People complain about it all the time, but me, I look at the other side of the fence, right? I think it's pretty cool how a system that is so old is able to still rock and roll in today's age. It is supposed to be getting an update, so we will see. SCS has released some statements in this past week about their minimum requirements uh, to run American Truck Simulator, so that might be a little hint to uh, some game engine updates. But with the current status of the game, when you have a higher frame rate, right? So when you're getting those 100, 200 frames, the game is actually working harder to try to get that because the system can't recognize it, right? This is kind of like a, a ballpark answer here, like a, a, an easy explanation. There's a lot more science that goes with it, but that is the gist of it, right? If you get anything over 60 frames, the game is actually working harder to get it but you're not gonna see really a difference. In fact, you actually might see some tears, you might see some ripples, you might have actual performance loss because you're trying to do something the game can't handle. The game works at its absolute finest between 30 and 60 FPS. If you have a system that is a solid system, most of the uh, users here have a pretty good system that can run uh, American Truck Simulator at 60 all day long with no problem, even with mods. So by locking that in at 60, you are telling the game, I want this to be at its 100% best at 60, and that is what it does. And I'm telling you guys, you will see a drastic difference. You will see a lot more smooth lines. The game will run smooth, and I'm telling you, you'll be able to continue to put down the miles at a more comfortable rate. But guys, that is going to do it here for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please, like I said, make sure you hit that sub button. We'd love to have you part of the Hammerhead community. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below. Try to help you out as best we can. And if you are not part of the Discord, make sure you go ahead, do so, join up. We have the link in the description. And we also have some sections there known as the ATS Game Support, PC Help, things of that nature that we could also try to help you out to try to better your game and your American truck experience. So as always, guys, that is going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day wherever you may be. And as always, keep the hammer down.